in object-oriented programming, information hiding means the restriction of direct exposure of data to clients and derived classes. Recall that clients mean the programs that use the class. We do not want to expose everything in a class to the clients, or direct classes. So we want to expose only the interfaces to the clients, so that the clients can access the data of a class through those interfaces. The idea of information hiding is everywhere around us. For example, take a look at this microwave. The user can only operate this microwave through these buttons and observe the state of this microwave through this LED display. The rest of this microwave is encapsulated in this steel box. Why not open the whole internals of this microwave to the users like this? Well, first, it is not necessary. The users do not need to understand the internals in order to use this microwave. Second, if you allow the users to manipulate the internal wires, transistors, and motors, the user may mess it up and make it malfunctioning. In other words, turn this microwave in a wrong state. Similarly, if you allow clients to manipulate everything in an object, the clients may mess it up as well. In other words, turn the object into a wrong state. So we encapsulate the things that the clients do not need to know. That's why information hiding is also called encapsulation. So in C++, within a class, within a class, for data and functions, you can specify three levels of information hiding. Public, protected, and private. So public data and functions are those you want to expose to both clients and derived classes. For the microwave case, so these buttons and the LED displays are public. Let's take a look at this example. So here we have a class, class A, and we have this integer public data in A, which is public. And uh, we can take a look and see this, this public B is a direct class of A. You can see that in B, you can direct access this public data, public data in A. And also take a look at the clients, the clients which is the of this class A, which is the main program. In main program, we use A instantiate an object. And here you can see that we can direct, the clients can directly access public data in A on this object A. So protected data and functions are those you want to expose to derived classes, but not the clients. So why derived classes and clients are treated differently? Well, derived classes are like the new generations of your product line, and so they need to access more internals of your class. So clients are in some sense purely end users, so they do not need to access the internals. For the microwave case, some internal modules, such as this power module, you may want the new models of this, the microwave can reuse them. So for such internal modules, they, are pro they can be protected. Let's take a look at this example. In this class A, we have this integer protected data in A as protected. If protected, you can see this public B, this is in derived class of A, you can see in public B, you can directly access protected data in A. And uh, take a look of uh, the clients of A. Clients of A, you cannot directly access protected data in A. And if you do that, and let's compile and see what will happen. You can see that it will complain say protected data in A is, is protected. You cannot do that. And in that means, if you click this error message, it will bring you to uh, the line. And he here, if you click this, it will bring you to this line. So if we comment off, we compile it, it will work.
So let's protect it. For private data and functions, there are those you do not want anyone to use them except yourself. So typically, private data and functions are used for implementation purposes only, basically for implementing some functionalities of a class. For the microwave case, the internal wires of this power module can be private as the new models of, this, of the microwaves just need to use this whole power module and do not need to access these internal wires of this power module. And uh, take a look at this example. We have this protected data in A defined as private in class A. Let's take a look of uh, class B. In class B, can we directly access protected data in, uh, private data in A? No, you cannot. If you do that, you will see that you will get an error message. This is private, this line. It has a mark here in that means. So if we uncomment it off, then it will work. So that's for the so private data are inaccessible for direct classes. What about uh, the clients? Same thing for clients, they cannot access private data in A. And if you do that, you compile, you will get an error message. This is private. Uh, it's private, right? If you click this, you will click the error message. Then you will get this. It will automatically bring you to this line. And we coming off. It will be able to compile.